Thanks for clicking on this video. It's day two of our eight day Thanksgiving cruise on board Carnival Magic. Join us in beautiful Princess Kays, one of Carnival's private islands. In this video, we will show you everything the island has to offer and give you some tips and tricks along the way. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you. Thanks for clicking on this video. We are currently the MH Family Crew. We're currently on board Carnival Magic, sailing an eight-day cruise, going to Aruba, Curacao, Princess Keys, and Grand Turk. As you see, I am kind of moving about this morning. It's kind of early. Um, the family still sleep. They're tired. But I am up, and I'm headed down to guest services. Um, we are in Princess Keys today, and when you... Um, if you don't know about Princess Keys, it's a tender port, meaning you have to get on a water taxi. So we had an excursion book that got canceled. And so now we have to figure out because of our status, we get priority getting off the ship, but we didn't get any information as to what time we need to meet up. So tried to call guest services, no answer. So I'm headed down there to see if they can help us. But we're gonna get up, have some breakfast and coffee, and we're gonna head out and have a beach day here in Princess Kay. All right, so they confirm that we meet up in the dining room at 8.30. But if you do not have a shore excursion and um, you aren't platinum diamond or in a suite or faster to the fun, then you have to get a water shuttle taxi or a water shuttle ticket and it will um, give you a number and they'll call you down by number to get on the water taxi. I always try to get off as early as I can to find shaded spot here in Princess K's. Um, so, you know, try to get off early if you can to get a spot. And there's usually gonna be a wait for the water taxis if you get off, um, usually between like 8.30 and 10. After that, it's just kind of first come first serve to get on the water taxi, but you'll need to go. They'll have a designated area on the ship for you to go at 7 a.m. the morning of Princess K's. And um, I think for this one, it was at the piano bar, so you just go there. Usually people start lining up at like six to get the tickets. Um, that's not really necessary, but if you wanna be one of the first off, that's what you have to do. Good morning. All right, we are off, about to get breakfast. Um, out here's fine. You guys know exactly where I'm going for breakfast. get off the ship bright and sunny day we're gonna get out here in this water hopefully see some fish we're gonna go snorkeling although our snorkeling excursion was canceled but we're gonna have a great time here in princess case today all right so we're sitting in the dining room waiting on uh, water taxis We've been waiting for a while. They started at 8.30 and we're about 40 minutes in and they haven't started at all. So I almost wonder, like the seas don't seem rocky, but it looks like it's getting cloudy out. I don't know whether they're holding off or what they're doing. Um, I've seen other vlogs where they'll have you wait, 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 and then cancel. So <laughs> we're hoping that's not the case, but if it is, we'll make this a great sea day, but we're just sitting here, we're waiting to, to get off the ship. And if you did not catch out, uh, catch our Princess K's vlog from, I think it was June of 2022, I was with my nieces. Be sure to check that one out. I do have um, a lot of information about Princess K's, um, an island tour, all of that there. Probably not gonna do all of that for this uh, vlog, but we'll kind of show you guys some spots, but definitely check out that vlog. Um, but again, you have to catch that water taxi over and if there is inclement weather, they will cancel it. So fingers crossed that that's not the case today. All right, time to move.
Okay, so we are here at beautiful Princess K's. Um, if you guys saw, like I said, we were one of the first off. And when you get off the water taxi, you can either go to the right side of the island or the left side. We go to the left side. And if you walk down closer to where like the barbecue pavilion is, you're gonna have these, you're gonna have these shaded pavilions here that don't cost. Um, highly recommend going there because otherwise, I mean, otherwise you're gonna be out in the sun and the umbrellas do cost. So if you don't wanna pay for umbrellas, get one of these shaded things. That's why you get off early to get that. Um, but yeah, and if you go to the other side of the island, they do have clamshells and things there, but they do not have the pavilions. So keep that in mind. You can also snorkel right here by these rocks, which is a good spot. This is why we came here. You're also close by restrooms, the barbecue, um, picnic pavilions. Um, the kids area is right behind us. So I feel like this spot of Princess K's is perfect because you're near everything. So um, it's a little bit stirred up right now. I do want to snorkel today. I've been looking forward to snorkeling. Um, but we're gonna let it settle for a little bit. We're gonna get comfortable. We're gonna be here. We're gonna today's the beach day, so maybe not a whole lot of content, but we're gonna show you guys this beautiful island. Again, this is Carnival's private island. Um, also, Holland America will come here, and Princess will come here as well. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a beautiful day. Now the tender boat ride or the taxi ride over was a little bit rocky, so if you have motion sensitivity, you might want to consider that. But it was pretty rocky coming over. But it was like what a seven minute seven minute ride yeah. maybe seven minutes so also something to know about princess case is that the water is extremely rocky um it doesn't look it looks like maybe they might have cleaned up some of the rocks since the last time we were here but it's very rocky so be careful wear hard water shoes not the little soft ones um if you plan on getting out there but we're gonna go ahead and get our sunscreen on and we'll take you guys around to show you princess case what is your crab Drew, what you listening to? Purple Rain by Prince. <laughs> As I come over here, check on Andrew. He's listening to Purple Rain by Prince. He brings his portable speaker. He doesn't play it too loud, but he's listening to Purple Rain. Isn't that cool? Chilling? It's a little cool. <laughs> it's a little cool. I better tell him. If he wants to live, he better not splash me. I have to get used to the water on my own. It's so cold. It's so cold. Huh? Get your arms wet. Sit down. Woo! Mom, all right, here we go, guys. Y'all know I don't like cold water. It's cold. Come on. Woo! He's a kid. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is cold. Woo! Oh, it's cold. Okay. Oh my God. Guys, it's cold. But one thing that I noticed just being right here is that they they must have raked up a lot of the rocks. If you guys followed the last time, <laughs> if you followed the last time, um, they I don't know if you guys can see me with my hat. Uh, <laughs> the last time they um, there was a lot of rocks out here, so it doesn't feel as rocky. There's still some rocks out. Um, so be careful but before i mean it was like every step you were stepping on rocks and pebbles and so it does feel like maybe they raked it last time i was here was june of 2022 so it's been a minute so maybe they've done some work here um which i don't mind because i remember i was tripping and falling and all kinds of things um in this very same spot so i do appreciate that but yeah beautiful views of the ship so definitely recommend bringing your water camera or put a uh, phone pouch um 
a pouch on your phone. That way you can come out and get some pictures. It's beautiful. barbecue is included on the island they'll have like burgers hot dogs chicken beans and rice desserts fruit stuff like that um, it opens up at 11 30 looks like they open up a little bit early today um, that is complimentary so be sure you grab some and they do have it on both um, parts of the island so no worries if you're on the other side they have food there as well the food at the buffet is kind of underwhelming um, like I said they had burgers salsa not a whole lot of options I felt like they had more options last time I was here but they just had the peas and rice um, hot dogs burgers chicken that was it and then like some banana bread and brownies that was it so not a whole lot of options we're just gonna eat a little bit probably have a full lunch when we get back on the ship but we're gonna have this for now and I'm sharing this plate with Ron so I'm not eating all of this So yeah, guys, if you want to go to the Bahamia Market. Oh, hold on. Do we go this way? I think we go this way. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, so that section there is if you're going to shop in the Bahamian Village. They have it over here. Yeah, we're not shopping. So you need to have ID for that. And um, they're checking your bags before you enter and on your way out. Um, so yeah, Bahamian. I don't think I've walked around that side before. Um, we're not going to do that today either because we're not going to shop because we have a little shopper here. <laughs> and although it's her birthday, she has no money to spend right now. Yes, I do have the twenty dollars <laughs> on Emily gave me. I have the twenty dollars on Emily gave me. I'm holding on to that. <laughs> imagine if you, imagine if you spend it. Dice knows what that means. <laughs>
Hey guys, as you see, this side of the beach is not nearly as crowded as the other side. Um, yeah, not at all. package for today guys i only drank three yesterday i'm really a lightweight i don't even know why i got the package but i'm gonna grab a drink and we're gonna go joe wants to go to the water park so i would think that's like it's where you drop down guys and then you Agave pineapple tea. That's really good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Jim Murray. As long as I have some shade. She wants to play, guys, but I need shade. I told you it was on 12. I just need some shade. So guys, they really have a nice water park here. I do like this um, compared to some of, some of the other ships. This is kind of reminiscent a little bit of like Carnival Celebration, some of the older, some of the newer ships. Um, so really nice. Joe Marie's having a great time. I'm just in here, you know, in the shade. Uh, Drew's watching football on the big screen. Uh, Ron's working, of course, and Dice is playing basketball, so <laughs> if that's what it's about. Cruising, you do what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it, and you just enjoy yourself. I'm sitting here drinking my pineapple tea, and, well, pineapple tea, but <laughs> that has some other things in there, but um, it's really good. <laughs> um, but a couple of things. Princess K, as we got back on the ship, there were a lot of people complaining. And um, when we got back on, they were on number 43 for the shuttle. I didn't even realize the numbers went that high. Now guys, we stayed on the island for a good four hours and people were just still getting off the ship. It sounds like there was a delay because the uh, uh, it's kind of windy out. So they had to slow down the, the, the water taxis. And so people that picked up later numbers. Yes, Jo Marie. You did what? Be careful. Okay, is that brown hot? Be careful, don't run. Pull your, pull your shirt down in the back. Is it hot? Um, so yeah, those who had a later number, they, some of them are still on the ship and it is um, almost two o'clock. So keep that in mind. Um, try to get off as soon as you can. Um, they did finally make the all call for everyone. So like I say, get up, get those uh, water taxi tickets. That way you're not stuck on the ship waiting because they're calling down by numbers and they're wanting you to hand over your number as you um, do it. So yeah, so like I said, we were one of the first shuttles over. So uh, be strategic with it if you want to enjoy the island. But if not, make it a, a, a ship day. Uh, like I said, right now the ship's pretty empty. There's still a lot of people on the island. So we're just going to enjoy um, this area for now and I have a little bit of work to do but just enjoying the day it's a beautiful day all oh these God. kids think they're slick I'm watching Joe duck past me I told her five minutes that was 20 minutes ago she keeps ducking past me oh, I'm doing my 
<laughs> Please, one more time, mommy. One more time. One more, Joe Marie, don't have me find you. <laughs> you hear me one time and I come straight here. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are refreshed. Joe and Daddy took a nap. And we are headed to dinner. It is just casual night, so we're going casually. And we're excited to try out tonight's uh, main dining room food. If you missed yesterday's vlog, be sure to check that out because we really, really enjoyed. Probably was our best carnival main dining room experience thus far. So check that out. I think it has to do with the new menu. Um, it was delicious. So we're off to dinner. So something that's um, different now, like with the bread, um, they don't give you options. So I asked, I said, no more cranberry bread, because that's one of my favorites. They said that they offer one bread each night, and that I guess formal night or another night, they'll have cranberry bread. So I don't really care for that change, but the menu with Emerald's new changes are really good. I mean, so far we've, we've enjoyed it. So I plan to order more of the new menu um, tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Sorry, Alright, so the shrimp looks like the old regular basic shrimp <laughs> that they've had. Yeah, just a basic tempura tempura fried shrimp. Nothing to write home about. How's your uh, soup? Good. Good? Can you try it? I think I've had that before. It's good. Yeah. You should try it so you can. Are you done? Done? Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. So the jambalaya pasta. It doesn't taste like jambalaya. It has a good flavor. It's very peppery. It's almost too saucy to be a pasta. It reminds me of like a chicken noodle soup. Um, not bad. It has a good flavor, but not jambalaya. Let me know what you think. Try it. Just try it. When you said it tastes like... It's not bad. It's just, it's like a little too saucy. So you can't even scoop it up, so it's so That ain't gonna help either, see? My relatives in Louisiana would be turning in their grave. Dad, if you don't... <laughs> you put that in your mouth. It doesn't taste bad, it's just not jambalaya. The fork is very nice. It has a very nice weight to it. Y'all know he was gonna say that, right? <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. It's just yeah, it does. It does. Chicken noodle soup. It's like very like chicken noodle soup to me. It's very brothy. Um, yeah, not bad. Not like last night's pasta though. Not bad. I probably wouldn't order it again though. <laughs> How's yours, Joe? Good. Good. You ate all the salami and ham. Yeah, look, this is. Yeah, uh, artichoke. Try it. Yeah. Try it. Good. Artichokes are different. Oh, Joe, you're making a mess. Artichokes are different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I take it back. I think I would order it again. I like the heat. It's very spicy. If you don't like peppers, you don't like heat, don't get it. It's very spicy. I would order it again, but I'd ask for a soup spoon because it's very soupy. It was hard to eat with the fork, but I think the flavors are there. It's just not jambalaya, but it's it's good. Salad looks good. I think it's salad. That is your salad. I think it's salad. All right, so Joe's salad is one of the new additions that they've added um, on the, I think they had two salads tonight. So that's kind of cool that they offer that, a full salad for um, an entree. So that's pretty cool. And then I have the bourbon chicken. Dyson has the beef willing. So why are you looking like that? Hold on, I want to get that. <laughs> my chicken looks good. It's just, I don't like, I like my skin crispy. <laughs> but it doesn't look bad. 
I wonder what this is. Alright, Tess is gonna show his beef Wellington. I wonder what this is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this And something I want to point out about Carnival, their new additions, um, the vegetables. Guys, I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog. Normally for Carnival, every dish you had the potato, carrot, you know, vegetables that didn't really go together. Um, and it was the same for every meal. It's nice that they've changed it up some. Um, so like Andrew has zucchini, squash, carrots, and potatoes. So I like that. So the chicken has potential. It just needs some seasoning. What I do like about it is that, you know, normally, I think they put the, the chickens through like a, a, a like an automatic cutter and you'll get like random pieces. So I like that I have an actual uh, breast, thigh, drum uh, drumstick. So I like that. Um, doesn't taste bad. I just would like crispy skin and a little bit more seasoning. I'm gonna eat it. Um, Ron has like some sort of seafood, I forgot what it was called, but it has like a puff pastry on top and it's like uh, calamari and shrimp and stuff and like a gravy. It doesn't taste bad. There's like some sort of fragrant herb or something in there that I don't like, but Ron likes it. So that's something different. How's your beef wellington dice? <laughs> What's wrong with it? It looks dry. Not dry. No. It's I like tough. the puff pastry. You like the puff pastry? Yeah. He likes the puff pastry. Um, the meat to me looks a little dry. We love like high crust and pastries and stuff, so he likes that. Um, and that gravy looks pretty good. The gravy looks pretty good. Uh, Jump has your salad. Good, I'm gonna try this. Not as good as last night. Not bad. You have to add some salt and pepper, but it's it's still an improvement. Oh, that's improvement. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, so dinner was good. Not as good as last night, but it was pretty good. Um, definitely improvement from past, so we really enjoyed it. So now I'm taking Joe to the kids' club and we'll figure out where we're gonna go next. We haven't even walked out here. We haven't even looked at this pool before. Or there's two hot dogs. Yeah, guys, this is my first time coming to the back of the ship. <laughs> we came here by accident. This is my second time. Because it happened this morning, too. Yeah. So those are nice comfortable chairs to sit in and that's not the serenity area so the serenity area is this way um we'll have to check that out later and there's a basketball course so i haven't seen that cochina's right there 